Shelby, what is it exactly you're here to uh, to do? I'm here today, Scott Alkerman, if you're strong enough to take you on a journey to another spiritual realm. Mm-hmm. Because what I do in my job is I help the dead move on. Okay. And then also, mm. in a sense, I help those who have died to move on. Okay, so you ha- wait. Did right. you just it say you helped? Like the same the- thing, yeah, <laughs> I help those that have passed to and, move on, and also those who and have then passed also on. Also, those who are no longer with us on <laughs> yeah. this spiritual realm to move on to what comes next. And then, in terms of Scott, <laughs> in terms of Scott, he's <laughs> a member of the living. And why do I need to be brave? <laughs> you need to be brave because we're going on a journey. We're going to encounter... <laughs> and where are we all going? What are we doing? Well, I can only do it one at a time. <laughs> oh, okay. But right. let's go on a journey right now. Scott, is there someone okay. that you've lost in your life that you want to talk hmm. to, see if they need help uh, moving on? Help moving on. I guess... Um, yeah, I would say uh, uh, my grandmother, sure. My grandma- I see your grandmother, Scott. You do? She looks very calm, Scott. She looks very happy. Great. And she misses you, Scott. Oh, I miss her. But there's a terrible presence near her. Oh, really? Yes. Who, wh- wh- Much what do you- darker than your grandmother. My g- Big. Not- Bigger than your grandmother. Well, my grandmother. He's my, nervous, Scott. This presence doesn't know how to deal with his feelings. It's not my grandfather. And he's not alone, Scott. He's not alone? There are, other pre- there are three other presences nearby. Near and my they're grandmother. They're so angry. Yes, they're playing angry music, Scott. Angry. Angry music? Rock and roll music that's what? dirty, almost grungy sounding music. What? Very different from the music that preceded it on rock radio, Scott. Grunge music? Yes. A blonde, a young blonde presence playing guitar and a Dave Grohl-esque presence on drums. Wait, so uh, a blonde? (laughs) Yes, and a taller man, I believe his name was Chris Novoselic. On base, it's Nirvana, Scott. <laughs> it's the band Nirvana. And there's a terrible presence. He's back, Scott. I can see who it is. It's Charles Barkley. Scott, your grandmother wants to know if you remember when Charles Barkley hosted Saturday Night Live and Nirvana was the musical guest. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, we did I, it, Scott. Wait. This studio is being cleaned. Oh, wait, but we didn't give her an answer. Hmm? That's all that your grandmother wanted but you to wait, know. Like, oh, she wanted you to remember. Know. She wanted me to know if I remembered <laughs> when Charles Barkley hosted Saturday Night <laughs> Saturday Live with Nirvana. Night Nirvana was the musical guest. God, mm. Do you remember that? I, well, your grandmother's waiting. Wait, now she's waiting? I thought mm-hmm. she just wanted me to know that. <laughs> well, the studio has been clean, so maybe that was the extent of the... <laughs> <laughs> it's very interesting. That was crazy. That was really... So I. So she She was in heaven, I, or where... What is? No, she's in uh, purgatory, some Scott, sort of when, middle... when you encounter a spirit in another spiritual realm, it's not uh-huh. like sitting here with you in the studio, and I can see uh-huh. you, and I can see you have slacks on in the shirt, and I can Thank see you. this young woman has a mangled ear. Mm-hmm. It's not like that. I only get to see bits and pieces oh, okay i see okay that explains it so she was somewhere else and she was watching this episode or she, or they she wanted to know if you remembered but when these... charles barkley hosted saturday night live now i i can in, understand if, if in 1993 and, and nirvana was yeah. a musical guest i can understand if kurt cobain was around her because he has passed on mm-hmm. um but i do find it a little odd that you know the other m- names of the other members of nirvana and yet in could fact, not remember in his fact, i don't know what nirvana is but oh. the spirit was giving me this information okay so my grandmother maybe knew out. the other members but but didn't know him <laughs> but i can understand him being there but what the other people are all alive. Charles Barkley and and I can see your grandmother watching. She was watching this old episode of Saturday Night Live on TV. Okay, so they have TV wherever she is. Hmm. I don't have all the answers, Scott. I just have more than you do. Okay, and it, maybe it was on Hulu because uh, I don't think that those old episodes are being rerun. I can go back to your grandmother and try and find out. Has how she moved she's- on though? Yes. I don't want to pull her back necessarily, but I would like the answer of whether this is on Hulu or not. <laughs> Let me go see if I can get it. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay. I don't see your grandmother, but I see your grandfather now, Scott. Oh, good. Oh, okay. He's so- doing well. Very calm. Oh, gra- okay. Very happy. 
He's Fantastic. surrounded by his right. friends. And they've all gathered at a place that they gather at quite frequently. It's a place where they feel safe and they feel happy. Heaven, I would imagine, or I hope. I mean, I hope he's moved Sort of like there. heaven. It's a familiar place. Everybody knows everybody else's name, and hmm. they feel comfortable and happy. And they've been spending about cheers, 10, 10 to 11 years in this place. 10 to 11 years. We're going to cheers. So you are that. very strong. Uh, there is a strong light in you, Adam <laughs> Bode. I can see it in you. Your grand, your grandfather is in the center of this bar, and he's surrounded by his friends, but he's sad because he's about to let them go. Oh, no. So he's watching. He's not ready to let, but one of them, there's a, another terrible presence who's not ready to let go. Uh-huh. He's a bearded man, very smart, erudite. <laughs> so Frazier, he's getting yes, a spinoff. He's not, so he's, he's not going to let go. He's my grandfather is watching the final episode of Cheers. Your grandfather wants to let you know he's watching the finale of Cheers. Oh. <laughs> he just wants me to know that. Oh. <laughs> and now he's moved on. The studio, the studio used to be dirty, but now it's cleaned again. It was clean, and then it got dirty, and now it's clean. I have a, qu- I have a question. Is it? Is it, and I don't know if you can say this, but... If you're at liberty, but is this is this a heaven thing? Is this a hell thing? Is it or is it is is that irrelevant? It's another realm where spirits are looking for an opportunity to move on, mm. and, and yet it's some, in the studio because you say the studio is cleaned. You mean this studio? Yeah, this studio because you carry the baggage of the spirits of your loved ones. With I see, you. even though they're in another place, even though they're oh, in okay. another place. So, they, and in order to move on, they just wanted Scott to know <laughs> what they were watching. <laughs> the f- his grandmother just wanted to know if he remembered. <laughs> okay, <laughs> right. His grandfather wanted him to know that he was watching a VHS copy of the oh, it's on VHS. <laughs> okay.